Lord. We all know that the Lord is some important stuff, my boy. That is an important fool. This, this be what I drew. Now I'm going to attempt. I don't have a USB slot to plug this into to power it. Would it be powered from here? Would this give it? Oh my God, you're joking. Oh wow, that USB port is fucked off. I didn't even realize. Look at this. Look at this display of power. I'm worried I'm gonna have the other USB port. Tongue in cheek action, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Can you please. Yes, there we go. Yes. Ooh. Whatever. Uh, this is not not necessarily the important bit here. A little important bit right there. Uh, information that needs to be passed on. The children. They need to know the secrets of the past. Uh, and this. Well, I'm not gonna throw it away. Uh, it belongs. Ah, you know what? Let's sh let's share. Let's share. I got stuff to share. I'm gonna share it. So this is a drawing that I made. It was a D and D game that I was playing with my friends, um, and I decided I wanted my character to be this strapping young man right here. And by strapping young man, I mean pathetic waste of uh, Italian pasta because I believe this was my Italian... Come on, focus. Focus better. Focus better. Better than that, please. That works. Okay. Okay, that works. So, uh, this young man is uh is my character i believe his name was onokar and uh so that's his little cape thing going on here he has a fancy bow and uh it's not a cape sorry it's a cloak thing it's, it's whatever edward elric had in full metal alchemist um kind of like a cloak jacket please please just uh stay focused um, so there he is, <laughs> so close up, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Um, I need to move my mouse so that I can just move the paper around. <laughs> okay, if I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna do it over here. So that, actually, I'll do it further out here. And here I'll have my... Oh man, I am so worried about breaking this USB port. There. Okay. Uh, I had designs for the mask that you can see him wearing, kind of. Uh, it's gonna be something like this, or this. And here's an idea over here. Um, I don't remember. But, oops, I need to move my speaker back and my mouse even more. Uh, it's a great idea otherwise. I don't know what this is. That looks like it would go on someone's arm. And this could go on the back of someone's hand. So maybe this is, um... 
a uh, wrist protector for archery. Possibly. No idea. That's a silly face. Here we have the bow. Uh, I didn't put a lot of work into it. It's just some lazy bow. I don't... I think it's a version of that one, because you can see the uh, how the bottom hat, you see the limb goes down to that, and then there's another part that curves the opposite direction, it's like it's sprouting out of that. Same thing going on here. So, I mean, they're probably the same bow. I don't think they look too terribly similar. I tried making a, like a clan logo, like that, where the small circle is the moon, and you got, um, you got little waves. So you got, you got waves, you got the moon. Uh, some weird ass design in the background for <laughs> whatever reason. Um, I tried making a simplified version of it. I mean, because the simpler it is, the easier it is to remember. Uh, up here, this is actually really similar to the alchemy symbol for phosphorus or something like that. Um, fun fact though, I didn't know that uh, when I made it, because I made that symbol as the letter D for I think the first uh, made up language I tried to make. Oh, also behind him, you'll see the background of that symbol, the waves, the moon, and the weird ass lines in the background. Uh, anyway, uh, I tried making my own alphabet, kind of, my own symbols for uh, the English alphabet, and that was the letter D. And the, I remember the letters D and B because me and my friend, um, who, we've been friends since middle school, we play lots of Xbox together. He went by Dante, and I went by Bunker, and so we were. Uh, Dante or Durante Bunquer or Bunker and so I remember D and B really well other than that though um, oh that's another representation of this it's got the uh, circles representing the moon the wave squiggly line representing the tide by the way you can see that the curve of that line on the bottom, this one, if this is like the ocean, the moon is pulling up because of its uh, gravitational effects of having that, you know, when the moon's over you weigh a little bit less kind of thing, and then just some arbitrary lines, because, <laughs> because why not? I believe this says moon, moon, um, I'll, I'll get to that later, that's, I, I have a thing for making. See, that was this was part of the first one, I think. It's the D. In middle school, I had a fascination with uh, Greek characters, their the Greek alphabet and the symbols. That's my name, Brandon. Um, that's my friend's name, Alex. I I don't remember. I don't know what the 18s are for. I guess we're legal. <laughs> Uh, when I when I was in middle school, I had a fascination with the Greek uh, lettering. There's my my little dude Silence. I have I have two two little stick figure characters. I'm getting distracted. Uh, I got two. I got Silence and Silent. Silent is a happy mute stick figure. Silence is just that face. He's like a being that I used to represent like some feelings or something. I was a little emo brat. This. <laughs> This is the Katir Arrow skin in Warframe, I'm pretty sure. Just, it's, it's, I don't know why I doodled that here, but I recognize it. And I know exactly what it's from. Here, I believe, you know, for a second I thought it was a staff. That's a sword. That's a sword. Uh, I don't remember why I drew it. I kind of like it. It's not the worst looking sword, uh, but yeah, that's all that is. Um, I went from being fascinated with, with Greek lettering and trying to learn how to read Greek to uh, like like ancient Greek. I, I mean, I suppose Greek is still a living, current thing. Uh, to making my own alphabets and such. 
I don't have any more fancy drawings. This was just my D&D notebook, and I had it out so I could doodle. Um, and you saw the doodle I made. At least I... Well, I didn't necessarily analyze it under a microscope, but here it is again. Uh, we got that face. I started off with the head. This wasn't originally going to be a random doodle. This was going to be me trying to effectively storyboard. Uh, you know, I don't have any storyboarding experience. I just get, I, I think it's drawing some pictures that represent scenes and different things happening so that you can accurately get the idea for um, like the cinematography of uh, or the story. Mostly story, but I mean, you could probably also use it for like, it's like a manga, kind of. So that, but it's like specifically uh, done in a way to aid in like if you're animating something. Like, uh, I, I think you can send a storyboard into a professional animation studio and they can animate the entire thing if you did everything right. But that's, I don't know for a fact. I've never gone to school for making animated movies or shows or whatever. But <clears throat> uh, I start off. Um, trying to make there's going to be an animation like a, a small stick figure animation and I, I have limited experience with animation in the past but uh, I didn't know what I wanted to do story wise or if I even wanted it to be stick figures but I ended up drawing a circle and then a stick body which you can kind of see under this you have oh dirty nail dirty dirty nail have uh wow just zooming in on any body part <laughs> it, it is kind of gross doesn't it i want to fix that Ugh. this webcam is actually pretty good at very up close and personal details i don't know if that's a necessarily a good or bad thing overall for uh, webcamming as it be but uh, I'm definitely admiring it right now to the point where I am trying to clean up my single finger just one finger so that doesn't look grotesque uh, you can see this line here going down that was his original stick body down here I, I tried to have a curve here so it goes down to here and then I drew a line across I okay I do need a small pointy thing where did I put that pencil right here to represent his waist don't don't mind this you saw me draw it okay it was a, it was a joke it was, a bad, it was a bad joke. <laughs> no, wait, this way. <laughs> I'm looking at myself recording. <laughs> I just made it worse. I made it worse. I need to blur out this. Um. Um. Uh. <laughs> what would. What would fix this? Actual butts. I. <laughs> I... <laughs> oh my god, my wheezing <laughs> gonna be in the wreck. <laughs> so, uh, this was the original. Um, wait, where is it? Right here. This is the original waistline that I drew. Um, and then I had the legs. Extended and the knee, and uh, I did that all, uh, and then just a single line here, and then I, I expanded from that to make the. I tried, okay, I tried, and this, boom, arrow, dead, big old sketched bow. It's literally just some lines and a little curve down there, and then string and 
It goes off the edge of the paper. That was my doodle. That was the whole doodle. That was the whole doodle. That was all I wanted to show originally, was that doodle. Um, and then I tried making the word yes into a single symbol for whatever reason. And it says, then both it is. <laughs> I should do like a lyric video just moving paper around. <laughs> That wouldn't that wouldn't be a bad idea. Ooh, that's how I can anim dude, that's a cre that's a really creative and unique way of an like uh animating things just I mean I'm, I know it's been done before. I'm pretty darn sure it's been done before. Nothing hasn't been done before. But like drawing out things on paper and then just moving the paper around under the camera and, and using that. Isn't that how South Park is made? Or something like that? That sounds like fun to do. It sounds like something I can do. I might try that. I might try that sometime. I'll, I'll try making... Instead of making a normal animation, I'll do that instead because that's... Uh, that sounds fun and... I'm, <laughs> I don't really have the patience. He's a stick figure animator. And... Uh, wow, that looks like a wall. That genuinely looks like... It looks like I'm looking at a wall from like... Seven feet away. Lots of little details, my goodness. What if I just... What, what if I just... gonna be the the thumbnail for this video you know I don't think that should be the thumbnail for this video uh, what should the thumbnail be That should be my thumbnail. Sure, I like it, except I shall make it in color instead. Here, let me do my work. Don't interrupt me. Daddy is busy. You know, in hindsight, I really enjoyed making videos, drawing stuff. I just overwhelmed myself and goofed a little bit and uh... I would like... I would like to do that again. 